Hello everyone, how are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about the iOS 17.5 beta 1. What all new things are here on this update? And does it bring anything exciting or new to the table? Or is it boring? A quick little spoiler, yes, it is a boring update. Anyways, let's get right in today's video and talk about what all new things are here and uh, is it worth updating to this beta or not? My name is Jay, you are watching Tech Hype. If you are new here, consider hitting that subscribe button because I keep on making these type of videos for you guys so ios 17.5 beta 1 was not a really big update i mean for a beta 1 17.5 it is pretty small update i do not expect anything new in terms of features from this update but till now as i am one of the first person making videos on this and i haven't really dived deep in this update yet but till now i haven't really find any new features or big changes as such but yeah i have managed to find some things that are different compared to the ios 17.4 the number one thing is performance straight out of the box the performance seemed pretty horrible i mean the animations just feels a little bit slower compared to earlier which is actually really irritating and weird because it has not been the case with previous betas. This is probably one of the first betas when I have noticed the animations getting a little bit more slower compared to earlier. But probably it is just a bug which will be fixed in the next beta. Moving on, the battery life. The battery life in the very short span of time that I have played with this device, I haven't really seen anything change as such in terms of that department. Battery health, yeah, my iPhone 14 Pro is sitting at 93% of battery health after almost 10 months of use, which is really bad. 10 months and 93%. That is a really big number that has been dropped in the past couple of months. Then there are bug fixes that are here on the iOS 17.5 beta 1. And another thing that I have noticed after installing this update is... Uh, that overheating is something that has been bothering me and uh, this is abnormal because i have been using betas for a very long time and this is definitely something abnormal and i'm not sure if i'm the only one having this issue if you have already installed ios 17.5 beta 1 do let me know down in comments below if you are experiencing overheating on your device or not anyways concluding this video ios 17.5 beta 1 does not really bring anything major or exciting to the table it is yet another boring update and i would not really recommend anyone to update to this firmware because number one thing it does not bring anything exciting to the table then number two it also brings some weird issues like overheating for me yes it has brought some overheating issues i'm not sure if it is widespread or not but my iphone 14 pro i have definitely noticed that my iphone 14 pro have been overheating a little too much lately after installing this update thank you so much for watching this video till the end this is me jay aka tech hyped and i am signing off please hit that subscribe button if you're new here because i keep on making these type of videos for you guys